you've been doing a splendid job, but you're going to have to cut your hair by Friday or you're not going to be able to continue with the company. Let's go, boy! Yeah! So let's talk about it right quick. TMC, the flatbed company out of Iowa. They let go a young black man with dreads. And the reason that they let him go was because of his dreads. They wanted him to get a smooth buzz cut, a certain look for the company. Now, I heard about this before. And the young man filed a civil, a civil suit. He felt that he was singled out. He felt that because of color, he was let go. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Drew Harvey behind me. He told me earlier today that during his orientation weeks ago, a supervisor from TMC Transportation in Des Moines told him he had to get a buzz cut to wear a hard hat on the job per company policy. Confusion, sadness, a disappointment. Just a few words that describe how Drew Harvey of Chicago is feeling after being let go from Des Moines trucking company TMC Transportation a couple weeks ago. So why did he lose his job just two weeks into orientation? You've been doing a splendid job, but you're gonna have to cut your hair by Friday or you're not gonna be able to continue with the company. Harvey said his supervisor claimed per company policy, employees had to have short hair in order to wear a hard hat during their shift. But Harvey showed us a photo of him wearing a hard hat with dreadlocks with no problems. And Harvey claims other employees at TMC had long hair, so he felt like he was being targeted. Did have hair just as long as me, if not longer. So I was wondering why I was being singled out. Harvey suggested he'd trim his dreadlocks, but his hair is important to him and his culture, he said. Part of the reason why he didn't want to have to cut it completely. And I believe that if he were a white man in the same exact position, I believe that he would have been treated different. And that's, that's the pity, and that's why he had to contact me. Harvey's attorney, Ben Lynch, filed a civil rights complaint against TMC Transportation, alleging discrimination and wrongful termination from his job. We need to make sure that other people are not treated the way that Drew was and uh, left out to, you know, just th thrown away like garbage and sent home on a bus after they quit their job and came to Iowa to try to start a new career. Now Harvey is left without a consistent paycheck and a job and instead a civil rights complaint that can cost a lot of time and money. But I don't think this have anything to do with color. I don't. Because I heard about this before. As a matter of fact, I believe I was in a Facebook group a long time ago. And somebody brought up this very same topic. And it was a white guy. The white guy, he had a, a nice little mullet going on. Like full flowing, shake your hair type of hair going on up there. And he said that he applied for TMC because he wanted to get into flatbed. And TMC is one of those companies that's that will train you in flatbed. If you just got out of school, he was in a Facebook group and he said that, hey, he applied, he got in, and during the training period, everything was going well. And then he said all of a sudden, a supervisor came up to him and said, hey, before we even go any further, uh, you, you're gonna need to cut your hair. And the dude looked at him like, say what? He was like, yeah, bro, we, we have some type of policy or something like that. I, I don't know if it's a policy in place, but they, they told him that he had to that he had to cut his hair. So this isn't far fetched, but I honestly don't think color had anything to do. I honestly think there is a policy sort of secret policy in place because obviously I'm sure if he would have known about that prior to going into uh, TMC I'm sure he wouldn't have went as far as he did I, I don't think the recruiter said anything about his hair and at the time of him being in orientation I don't think they said anything about it either so he took it like, nah, I ain't going to do that. Well, my hair is my hair. Dreads is like a significant to some people. That's it, it's religion, bro. Grew out his hair, got it into a dreadlock style. Know how long it takes to, to, to do locks? It takes a long time. And you got a company that you're not even sure that you're going to retire from asking you to cut your hair. Now, I know some companies, they don't allow certain things like tattoos beards and stuff like that enterprise and they had a clean shaven policy like you can't have no hair on your face at all you have 
your your face got to be as bare as a baby's bottle. So with this guy right here, Drew Harvey, man, I, I respect what you're doing. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that that happened to you. I honestly don't think it was because of the color and why you were singled out because I I heard about this happening to white guys as well. So hopefully you'll be able to win your suit. This is TMC. This this is like maybe an, an unspoken policy. Have that ever happened to you? Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you would have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.